Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushka, and join me today as what's crack a and takes us on an absolutely thrilling journey through the, well, this is a bit of a chick mag at this thing, isn't it? Look at it, low slung, uh, very aggressively styled for speed and uh, innuendo, the T95 the gentleman's drive is in the house and he's going to be taking it towards the bad guys on Hellas. Holy Hellas, it's the Greek facade. Look at the columns, the Athenian columns. Loving them. A little bit of Athenian work there. Now, onto the tank. This is a tank that I used to drive an awful lot. In fact, this is probably my most driven tank in the game, vying with the T54 for supremacy and longevity. And the reason I loved it as a young pup, it was one of the first lines I went up, was it was just this fun tank that you could brawl in. Now, you wouldn't think it was a brawler because it's just very, very slow. But what the T95 does is drive forward and poke people with its big-ass gun. Uh, and it's actually been nerfed. It used to be even more heavily armoured which is surprising because it's not exactly lightly armoured now. But the skirts on the side and the spaced armour just above the tracks uh, and the armour used to be, like, really, really strong. I can't remember the exact uh, millimetre each, but trust me when I tell you, many millimetres, the best millimetres, some of the finest millimetres. Now, the T95 itself is just a thrill-a-minute machine. You can't get any better than this. It's... Like a pair of disco shoes when the BGs start playing. You just know you bought the right gear to the game. Well, hang on. There goes a rocket. T92E1. I am just absolutely dying to see if that rocket-propelled gumnut machine gets killed by the T95. If it does, pants down around the pool table for this kid. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Tier 10 lately because Wargaming basically can't balance... Uh, a ruler on the end of there. You know what? I'm not going to talk about it. Not the ATGMs. I'm not just, just not going to talk about it anymore. No one listens. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, now we're starting to get to the business end of proceedings. And the best part about the T95 when you're top tier is that everyone else has a lot less pen and your armor becomes absolutely Godzilla like. And this VK10A1P is starting to feel a little bit of pressure. He's having a little bit of a brown moment. That is not where you want to cross there, Tiger 2. Oh, unfortunate. It's a lesson learned, hopefully, for you, and you're going to remember that one and possibly not drive sideways in front of the 150mm 640 Alpha American sexual Tyrannosaurus that is currently cavorting around the middle of Hellas. Look at this. The uh, one tank up for the Green Boys, and he's seen an opportunity for some HE. Oh, 959. The Romanian judge has given him an 8.5 for that one. The degree of difficulty, not really that high, but the raw numbers, absolutely beautiful stuff. The VK100-01P is having trouble dealing with life right now. Turning around, uh, getting up, get out of bed, all these things. It's like advanced mathematics for a German tank. He just wants to drive forward at a slight angle. Not sure what happened there. He attempted to turn left. Uh, he only turns right. He's a bit of a Zoolander, that bloke. And now we get to the tricky part of the T95. When you push, push, pushed, and suddenly you're betwixt and between a whole bunch of people. Can he hit that? Can he what? Have a thousand damage. Have a thousand damage. Not not a hundred, not five hundred, not seven hundred, not nine hundred, but a thousand. Six thousand four hundred and sixty-one if you are counting. Oh, there's War Gaming's answer to balance. The T ninety two E one sitting up the back of the map, hurling objects without being spotted. Well done him. Uh, unfortunately not enough to overcome the glorious uh, freedom flying machine here. Just drive forward screaming freedom in the American uh, T95 and you'll be a whole lot happier with life. Four down on, uh, four to go on the green team, two to go on the red team and we've got the HE loaded again. This kid just loves it. High explosive, anybody? Uh, unfortunately, that time he didn't get a clean pen and only 467. Still, burning the kick of the pants and it leaves him just a smidgen shy, 42 shy of the magic 7k and here comes the t92 oh please kill this t92 please get your buttocks to the wall oh hello did you make an error 
Did you make a mistake, T92E1? I feel like this was not the droids you were looking for. I have absolutely no mercy, no remorse. I'm very happy that that just happened. As he goes to 7,277 damages there. What was the final score? 7,277. Well done, you. Now, as if that wasn't enough. As if that wasn't enough to sate the appetite of even the most hardcore hammering tank machine and aficionado. I've got more where that came from. This has probably been featured on Meadsy Channel. Does it features everything these days? The kid's like a tanking monster. He just never stops pumping out that gold-plated, top-shelf quality content. But Dazzler, if you haven't featured the next one, I'd be surprised. But I'm going to throw it up anyway. Now, the next game is from The Cool Dude in the WZ 121. And he is in for an absolute roller coaster of emotion as we go through... Well, watch through to the end. And I think you'll be very, very excited. Uh, there's the Sheridan. Wish you could have shot him. Turn friendly fire back on. Turn it back on here. And if you don't like my opinions on missile tanks, you can go to the other free channel just down the road and tell them I sent you. Don't let the bum hit you on the... No, don't let the door hit you on the buttocks on the way out. Jeez, you'd be a big, big worry if the uh, bum was hitting you on the door. Uh, you'd need to see both a hardware specialist... And someone who uh, was into heavily into posterior medication. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Now, I do have a little bit of news. Uh, Snake Eyes came on channel the other day and drove around Blitz with me again for a little bit of old time. So we had a great time. Uh, I've returned the favour and I had a bit of a run with him in the boats, World of Warships, which is what he normally plays these days. I'm going to feature that on channel. I might feature a bit more of the warships. We'll see how we go. But I certainly... It was really good fun to play with Snake again. Uh, I'm going to drop that in the next day or so. I don't know. I might make it a blue adults only version because, my goodness gracious, Snake, you know how people get upset about teams and 40% players and stuff in, in Blitz? Well, Snake takes that to the nth degree in Worlds of Warships and he gives the donkeys the full measure of his rusky tongue. Anyway, let's get back to what's going on here. It's cool, dude. Slots a couple from across the map on Falls Creek. Hasn't this map changed so much over time? Oh, hello, T92E1. Have a dose of that now. You're never safe here, obviously. You've got to keep reversing just in case he throws one of those heat-seeking missilos your way. But still, the WZ121 is more than uh, more than happy to get involved to get the stout shot. Another great shot. Slots through the front left drive wheel of the Object 704 now. As he's starting to push middle map, starting to flex towards what is a very, very overextended E75. And there's no surprises there. He was dead keen to get back to the garage. And the red mob has obliged him. In no uncertain terms, they've said, thanks, buddy. Your hit points are most welcome. Now this 704 has copped a flogging for his troubles. What a wonderful shot. Go, red team. You deserve it. We suck, says the E75. Obviously, driving down the middle of the map in a slow-moving heavy uh, when you're in a Tier 10 game, in a Tier 9 tank, and then screaming at the rest of your team for their lack of talent and ineptitude sounds like a you problem, buddy. Sounds a whole lot like the problem is the bloke behind the wheel, the space between the eyeballs. Have a think about yourself. Come back and tell me how you went. The WZ very nicely equipped with the old heat to uh, the old AP round to get through the front of the I-7 there. Got a good angle. The I-7 really not playing to his strengths. The Pike nose doing absolutely nothing. And if you're relying on your gun to get you out of trouble in the I-7, then you're doing it wrong because the gun on the I-7 is like a packet of poop tickets in a show bag. It's not what you want. It's not what you deserve. But it's probably what you're going to get anyway. Uh, as he rolls backwards and forwards on the side hug. Lovely bit of work there. Switches up to heat to finish off. And wouldn't you know it, gets a bounce. Doesn't matter. The IS-7 can't shoot. And everything is tickety-boo as far as our amigo is concerned. The only real problem he's got, let's face facts, it is a slight problem, is that there still remains five red tanks. And he only has very, very little amount of hit points left. And he's missed his shot. The other problem he's got is that for some godly unknown reason this tank doesn't have enough ap <laughs> i don't know if it's because he's stoushed up the loadout uh but he certainly doesn't have the gear and this t92 he won look at that 
Treat him like he deserves to be treated. Paint me like one of your French girls. Where's your missile now, you little tub of fantastic, de depressing game balance? Here comes another customer. Thanks very much. I'll have you. He's managed to isolate at the back here as he skips forward towards 5,500 damage and about 3 million damage blocks. And this T-54 is absolutely everywhere. He's, he's not even looking for the bouncers now. He's dropped the adrenaline. Look at the damage pouring in like the sea. This T-54 came around the corner thinking he was going to get an easy road of it. Oh no, here's trouble. Two mouses, two mises to pieces, under the guns, slip around the corner, fire one in the side, very happy to oblige. This is absolutely ridiculous. How is he alive? He's got an invisibility shield. The T-54 is blowing up now. I think he's joining the E-75 on the field and saying, ah, oh, it must be Wargaming's fault. Round the corner. Two mouses, however. We all know that somewhere lurking in the field is the monstrously large German machine. Oh, he's bounced another one. The Jaeger Now, if the Jaeger turns up, all bets are off. He's at 4,200 damage blocked. Oh, he's on the heat now. He's got one round of AP left. Finally, they hit him. He's bounced about 3 million shots. Can he get another one in? Oh, the mouse doing a brilliant job with the wiggling and jiggling. And here comes the big dog. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cool dude 4000 goes out of AP and out of the game. What a tremendous effort from a talented young player. 8,400 damages. Get him in here. I want to buff him. Thank you so much for watching, humans. Hope you enjoyed that little dalliance into the daily world of tanks, blitz, downloads that come my way in the Bushka Gaming email account. If you send your, uh, your replays in, send them to bushkagaming at gmail, and I'll rip them up here if I'm feeling the urge. And I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of the boats video that's coming with Maxi. Watch on. Maxi, I'm under the pump over here. How's it going uh, on your end? Seriously? Texas? Are you oh. fucking kidding? Is that the new meta? <laughs> You're not happy again. A fucking Texas from 19k shooting HE. <laughs> Oh man, it's it's kids. Kids watch a fucking video of some idiot showing it, playing, listen, playing um, it um, on on stream or something, and oh they will just God. be pumping that hate shit everyone now. The one thing they realize that was British DD, not fucking. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah let's move. Long on. story short, bad play. <laughs> oh fuck me! He's already sending me. Uh, I'm gonna get dropped oh, now. Oh, Maxi, I have missed World of Warships, my friend.